Hey, Rob Hammer here. Just got back from a trip and uh, definitely a winter arrival here. And uh, we just wanted to explain a few things. So obviously we do uh, uh, weather planning before we depart and we pick an alternate. And uh, our alternate uh, actually became unusable uh, during um, just prior to our departure. So uh, we had to pick another alternate, which was much further away and, and gave us a, a greater safety factor. So uh, that's something that, that happens, um, especially during winter conditions and that kind of thing. With the previous video that I just put out, um, looking at the configuration of the bleeds, I just wanted to explain a few things um, based on the checklist. So when we're talking about, we've completed our descent checks, we've done our descent transition checks, which is really quite a simple one, which is recog lights on, altimeter set three times, uh, Wi-Fi, if applicable, is off. And then approach checks, which are done at 10,000 feet minimum, uh, the APU comes on and you would turn that on uh, when you're below 290 knots. And then once it's running, uh, you can go to your AC page, your AC synoptic page, and uh, turn the APU gen on. Uh, we um, always confirm any selection of switches or anything like that in the overhead panel with the other pilot. So we would say APU gen confirm, and then we would turn the APU gen um, on. And then we'd also confirm in the, uh, AC, the AC synoptic page that we have 400 hertz and that we have 27 volts for the APU gen. The next thing is landing logo lights. So landing lights are gonna come on, you're gonna turn them into pulse, and the logo lights are gonna come on if, if you want them on, um, that, that's up to you. Uh, passenger signs are gonna come on at that point. Passenger briefing is going to either be verbally done by the crew or in uh, the, the case of the 650, as I mentioned before, uh, the the briefing is actually played by an iPad app, and uh, we t we we play the briefing. Then thrust reversers get armed, and uh, and then the cabin is verified that it's secure at that point. And then if it's been two minutes since we've turned on the APU um, gen, we then do tent stage bleed transition, which is what the video was of me uh, pushing those four buttons. So the sequence that I push the buttons in is, is quite important. So I, I talk about in before out or depressed or um, not depressed or pushed in or pushed out. So in is pushed in and pushed out is, is out. So the sequence that I show is the way you're supposed to do it. Uh, and again, that's generally done um, two minutes after you turn the APU gen on. Uh, it doesn't have to be, but it's preferred that you do that. The next thing is you'd go into your FMS and you would go to your perf page and you'd set takeoff thrust. And if you have not transitioned the bleeds properly, then you will not have takeoff thrust available. And that would be um, a reason that you'd have to confirm that the bleeds were done properly and that you'd go back into your FMS and set takeoff thrust. And then um, anti-ice. Um, as you saw in the video, all of the anti-ice was on at that point. So the ignition was on first, then the cowls left and right, and then the wing anti-ice. And you can see everything was all lit up there as we were coming in through uh, rather icy conditions all the way down from the top of descent roughly. And then, um, so basically, um, you know, that's winter operations flying. And what I was trying to get at is it's called holding an alternate. So. Uh, we were unable to hold our alternate, which was Calgary, and we had to pick another one. And we picked a one that was quite further away, which was uh, the first one was going to be Kelowna. And then the next one was going to be Vancouver. And the next thing you need to think about is, well, when would I go? Like if I came to the airport of, of arrival and I want to maybe shoot a couple approaches, when do I need to go? Well, there's going to be a minimum amount of fuel that you're going to need to get from um, your your arrival airport to your your um, your alternate airport, and that's the number you need to have in mind at all times. That be as you, as you're deciding whether you're going to shoot more approaches or not, or whatever your plan is. So, anyways, that's winter operations in a nutshell. Again, as always, if you have more questions, please send me uh, email uh, or um, however you'd like to get a hold of me. 
Thank you very much. And, um, you know, very uh, thankful again, once again, for the amount of subscribers that, that, that I've been getting here, just even, even the last couple of hours. So people from all over the world. So thank you very much. Tell your pilot friends uh, to check out Foxtrot Alpha Aviation. Rob Hammer out. Take care.